Well, uh, we heard from obviously some of the players. Uh, how about for yourself? Uh, night, night number one of the regular season and some of the emotions that come with that. Well, you're excited. I, I mean, when you look at our group, we've got Michael. I think this is 17 for him. Um, and then we have some young guys that are in their first game. So it's an exciting time of the year. I mean, they work hard through training camp and the exhibition season, and now they get to play for real. Uh, I mean, what, when you look at a guy like Michael, as you mentioned, 17, and just sort of with that experience can maybe help with some of the night number one nerves that maybe a guy like Sam's going through. Yeah, I'm sure it's not just Michael. I mean, it's Cads, it's Coles, it's a lot of guys that have played a lot of these games. So um, they've done a really good job of helping to bring some of these younger guys along with them, and I'm pretty sure tonight will be no different. Is there a message to those guys, to those uh, guys that, as you mentioned, worked hard through camp, earned their spot, but uh, maybe some of the some of the nerves that come with it? Tonight? Um, not. There's no special message. It's just don't change what you did to allow you to be here, uh, and that's really all we've said to the the couple of young guys. It's just to make sure you go out and enjoy it and keep playing the way you've been playing, and that's what's allowed them to have success. And those are the types of things that we we need from him for our team to have from them for our team to have success. Dan starts tonight. Dan does start tonight, yeah. yeah. I, I, you said the other day, you know, we'll announce our starter the day of and then we'll go from here. Yeah. Can you elaborate a little bit on what your mindset is? Winner stays in? How does that work? Uh, I, no, I don't know if we're a winner stays in. I don't know if that's fair to the goaltenders. Um, but we feel like um, we knew who we were going to start after a few days or a few days ago for this game. But we have a couple days between our next game. So that just kind of gives us some time to reevaluate and, and see uh, at that point. So um, the win and stay in, I don't think, is the best way to do it for a goaltender. But at the same time, we want that competition. And as we've talked about in Calgary, um, the expectation is that someone's going to step up and take more of the starts. So um, whether that happens sooner or later, uh, that's up to them to decide. So till then, it's it's go by feel. Yeah, very much so. Like we're very comfortable with both guys. They've had excellent camps. I feel like they're both ready to play games, and I'm looking forward to seeing that competition continue for us. How big a jump has Hans have taken? Um, a large jump from last year. Um, he he had his challenges in our camp last year, and I think when he came back this year, he's a much different person um, in regards to probably the mental toughness side of the game. And he had some success early on where he probably started to realize that I can play my game against these players. And then he just, he kept taking steps from that point on. So he's, he's skated really well. He's used his size to his, his advantage and he's been a trustworthy guy. And at the end of the day for a young guy trying to break into the NHL, you want your coach to be able to trust you. So he's done a really good job with his play away from the puck. What about Vancouver and your expectations from them? Uh, a lot of what we saw last year from them. This is one of the better teams in the league. Um, they have some talented players that we're going to have to be aware of and, and do a good job against tonight. Uh, how much of a focus is Quinn Hughes? Um, I think he was one of the players I was alluding to for sure. He's one of the better defensemen in the game, so a lot of attention has to be put on him for sure.